The fourth factor of resistance to change is care. Just like a plant to flourish needs care, uh, a certain amount of water, sun, nourishment, and even protection, the same is true for change in organizations. Uh, without proper reinforcement, the change withers away. There are three common ways organizations overlook reinforcement. Uh, the first is when the change is announced by top management, but there is no follow-up. Uh, employees are stressed by many priorities and the change doesn't receive the attention it needs. Uh, the reality is that most changes depend on establishing new habits, uh, learning new skills, consolidating new behaviors, and without consistent focus we may wake up months later after the announcement just to realize that nothing has happened. The second way is when managers, for example, during a meeting, focus their attention on those who are resisting the change. Their intention, of course, is to clarify what's right and what's wrong and maybe express a bit of frustration. But paradoxically, uh, by pointing the bullseye on the resistance, they tend to reinforce it. This is what in social sciences is known as the broken window theory, which essentially means that giving visibility to a problem often leads to more of the same. The third way is when we apply the wrong reinforcement. Research shows, counterintuitively, that sometimes rewards such as money can actually kill motivation. It happens, for example, when the behavior has an intrinsic motivation, um, when we uh, take pleasure in doing it when we just enjoy it. In these cases, an external reward can annihilate the natural drive. And that's very interesting for those who design compensation systems. There are many ways to take care of the change, whether it's uh, uh, supporting employees' learning, listening to them, um, helping them stay focused, encouraging risk-taking, and so on and certainly we cannot cover them all here. But the key question we should keep asking ourselves is, are we nourishing the change over time?